What's up Okanagan fam? My name is Sterling, this is my buddy Victor, and I've been doing some free work for a pizza place out in Lumbee called Avenue Pizza. And I've been bringing home some pizza for, for us because we're roomies, and this dude is so impressed by the quality of their pizza, he's like, we have to go do a road trip. We're gonna go directly to Lumbee, to Avenue Pizza, just to pick up about four pizzas, maybe a couple drinks and a poutine. See what see what we get up to, but their their food is so good and it is such a good deal that we're just making this trip. Victor Man, what about that pizza? Were you like, this is so good that you're actually willing to drive an hour and a half one way just to go eat it fresh? Honestly, it came down to the cheese, the crust, just the ingredients. It just tasted fresh even though it was cold. Quality comes down to the aspect where it's good food, it's fresh, it's non-GMO, and you know what? It's quality, and I'll spend the time traveling to go get quality if it needs it. Being in the Okanagan for this long, it's like, you know what? If you find something that's better than your general Pizza Hut, Boston Pizza, no-name brand, if you find something of quality, you'll drive to get something worth your while. That is kind of the attitude in the interior. It's like, Really? The next town is only like 20 minutes away. Hey, we'll go do a little bit of a trip. Vancouver? Oh, that's only five hours away. Let's go do a day trip. It's kind of the, the, the way that we sort of think in this area. And now we're going to go to Lumbee and get some pizza. No Canadian road trip is ever complete without Tim Hortons getting some coffee. Hi, can I get an extra large coffee with three cream, two sugar, please? Just a large black. And a large black? Nope, that's everything. If you think that's a lot of sugar, you should see how much else this man consumes. I don't know why he's only the weight that he is, but his metabolism is, his metabolism is working over time. One day, we're gonna swap body types. <laughs> I used to be the fat kid. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna be the fat kid again if you keep it up. Fat grandpa. <laughs> Hopefully not for another 10 years. Oh, that's right, because you have a daughter. <laughs> Onward to Lumbee. That way. That way. Well, that way. Then that yeah, yeah, that way. way. This is the problem about getting black coffee. I still haven't had a sip of this because it is so hot and I forgot to ask for like an ice cube or two in it for me to actually drink it right away. And this mofo is basically already done a third of his coffee. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and take a sip now and might burn my mouth, but it also might be worth it. Yeah, that's still way too hot. Man, that's like a sipping coffee right now, and it did not burn the tongue a little bit. We're here! <laughs> Say to the nice lady what it is that you actually want. A large angry bird. With with the um the, the ghost pepper sauce. Really? Yes. Yes, I want that ghost pepper sauce on my angry bird. Okay. <laughs> a large Hawaiian chicken, a large Mac Daddy, a large spicy Italian. For four pizzas, gourmet pizzas. That is such a good price. How much would an extra toppings been? Two dollars for a topping for, for a large. large. That is for context, I ordered a a large pizza from Domino's. They had a offer on where it was like ten toppings. And I asked, how much would that pizza been with the extra ten toppings? And he said, about a seventy dollar pizza. This pizza don't need no extra toppings, it is that thick. But if I did, it's only two bucks. What is this on this tray? This delightful tray of deliciousness? Smoked jalapeno peppers. Oh my goodness. I now have something to add on. <laughs> what? Mm, oh my gosh. She gave me one. It is so good. It's jalapeno with like cheese in it. And 
just wrapped in bacon. This is so good. I know it's smoked. What have we got here? Jalapeno, what are these? Smoky poppers. Delicious. What else we got here? Giant poutine made with real cheese. Oh, I have pizza fingers. What else we got? And the delicious four stack pizza. You're beautiful, and I'm gonna love digging into this. How are they, buddy? Just, yeah. Yeah, they're that good, isn't it? <laughs> so that was one of those. Oh my God. Mmm. They need to deep fry this. You gotta deep fry, like batter it, deep fry it, or just deep fry it? Yeah. Yeah. You're just going hard on those, aren't you? That was one of the most, by far, one of the most delicious things I've ever eaten with jalapenos. With bacon. With cheese. Oh my god, it was delicious. I want like a million of those. Look how thick that is. 
That is fantastic. What do you think? First thoughts of a fresh pizza slice. Absolutely amazing. Just so good. One of the best parts about this pizza is it doesn't get burnt on the bottom. It only browns. This is hugely satisfying. Even one slice, I'm like so full. So many toppings on it. I really, I really want to get the angry one, the angry bird one, because it's got the ghost pepper sauce on it. And I had to put more on than she usually does. Just a little bit. And then sriracha on top. How are you feeling after that, that one slice of the angry bird with the, the ghost pepper sauce? It's warm. Uh -huh. mm. It's not deadly, but it is definitely it's good. There we go. That's the Mac Daddy. It's got pickles on it. Ooh. If you've never had pickles on a pizza, it is one of the most amazing things. Pickles just work so many, so good at so many things, and pizza is definitely one of them. Again, look how thick that is. And the crust isn't burnt, it's nice and crisped. Good grief. You know, the way that she actually makes this crisped and not burnt is she uses day old dough because that way the yeast has time to eat away the sugar and just makes a better dough. The heat from the Angry Bird is sort of carrying through in that. A little bit. Yeah. And just like the, the natural heat from this, just from being in an oven. Woo! It is intensifying that. How do you feel about the pickles on the pizza? Probably as necessary as I feel about deep fried pickles. Oh yeah. Deep fried pickles are good. Yeah, we do. We have one more pizza. You know, then we have pizza fingers and a poutine. Today, today was a good day. Uh-huh. And it might just be a good day to die of gastro problems. <laughs> you know what? I hope the corona gets me before that. Maybe it will because we had ghost pepper sauce and that's just gonna pass right through us. We have a lot more pizza to eat. Our guts aren't gonna be happy with this. This really does taste like a hamburger. This is so good that I'm even eating like the crust of the outside. Like, don't even need any dipping sauce. It is that good. I mean, it's so close to the edge. It's always got cheese on it. It's like cheesy bread. Last pizza. I don't even remember what this is, but and I don't even care. I just know it's going to be really good. Spicy Italian. Oh yeah, that's probably what it is. Spicy Italian. Just. Thick as always. You know, a good pitch is always a little bit messy. I'm so full. I'm gonna, I'm gonna power through. Better pull the chicken fingers after this. I'm still hungry. I don't think I brought chicken fingers. Oh, so what was the new one? No, it's got poutine and um, pizza fingers. Pizza fingers. That's what it was. Uh huh. Last thing. It's not the last thing, but the last pizza thing that we got is pizza fingers. Now apparently. They're super famous for it. No idea why, but I'm ima imagining that they're gonna be really, really good. And I wanted the barbecue sauce specifically because it's got bourbon in it. Yeah, it was made with bourbon. I can smell the drunk coming right oh. out. Oh, oh, that's good. I can taste the bourbon. Yeah, what do you think of that barbecue sauce? Uh huh. Really good. Finally, the last thing I got, and by no means am I going to be able to finish this, at least right now, is a poutine. And it's not made with curds, it's made with real cheese. That is so good. The fries got a nice seasoning. They're very nicely deep fried, covered with real cheese, and just a lot of gravy. This is a heart attack in a little box, and I'm excited to have it. Oh, oh yeah, look at that. What a mouthful. What a mouthful. Like a like a soldier and a hero. As long as you didn't call me a champ. Still have all of this food left. It cost 
less than a hundred bucks to get four massive pizzas, a huge poutine, the, the jalapeno bacon wrapped, whatever godly goodness that was, and I believe this is a large pizza figure. Such amazing value, such amazing delicious food. And we're so full, but this man, he's still eating a Mac Daddy. He's still going strong. And I think with a couple more of these, we could get her polished off. This was your idea to go to Lumby just to get fresh pizza, because you had to try it. Mm -hmm. Was it worth it? Every second of it. You used loving that Mac Daddy with that pickles? Mm -hmm. You're a fan of pickles on pizza now, aren't you? Yeah, I am too.